Fishing communities across the UK are set to benefit from £75 million of government investment to spur the industry's post-Brexit growth. Ministers announced the extra cash last night to provide better local infrastructure around the country's harbours to mark the first anniversary of the UK's exit from the EU's single market this weekend. They aim to strengthen the fishing industry's ability to land more fish in the UK and take the produce to market faster. The taxpayer-funded investment has been earmarked for improving the capacity and efficiency of fishing harbours and processing facilities. Ministers say the move will boost the long-term sustainability of the fishing industry and support jobs while crews sees the increased opportunity opened up by the UK's departure from Brussels' run Commons fisheries policy. The initiative is seen in Whitehall as part of the government's drive to level up the UK by spreading investment to previously neglected parts of the country. A £65 million infrastructure fund will be made available for projects such including modernising ports and harbours alongside increasing capacity and efficiency at processing and aquaculture facilities. Officials at the Department for the Environment Food and Rural Affairs will run a competition seeking to identify the best projects. Schemes that reduce carbon emissions, help increase the sustainability of the fishing industry and contribute towards the government's commitment to reach net zero and greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. Up to £10 million will also be used to encourage new entrants into the processing, catching and aquaculture sectors alongside training and improving the skills of current workers in the industry. Environment Secretary George Eustace last night hailed the progress made by the UK fishing industry since the finalisation of the agreement governing the country's exit from the single market and common fisheries policy. He said, a year on from the trade and cooperation agreement, a positive picture is emerging for our fishing industry.